Universal Studios is one of the big six film studio companies. It is owned by NBC Universal, which is then owned by Comcast and General Electric. Comcast being an internet service provider and General Electric being an electricity company, both owning high stakes within Universal. These are just a couple of the films they have made and how well they have done, with Ted being the highest grossing comedy film of all time and American Pie Reunion making $234 million at the box office. Universal aims mainly at teenage to young adults when producing films. As well as producing films, they also cover other stations of media production, such as Television programmes. Within the stations, they cover all ages with something you'll enjoy, such as sport for the sport lovers and different types of entertainment, depending on age and humour. NBC Television Network broadcasts approximately 5,000 hours of TV programming each year. Films. They cover all areas of the filming industry, with Universal Pictures making films that will become big hits, Focus Features making films that won't do so well due to them being about things no one's interested in, and Universal Studios Home Entertainment being a studio that covers all types of films. The reason why they also want to focus on producing rubbish films is to make themselves seem better, appear like they are doing a good thing by supporting it. It also makes their films they have done well look even better. Digital media. They then go on to own websites expanding their industry to most areas of the media. With Daily Candy, they get more publicity by sharing information people think is interesting that they have found, when actually it is owned by Universal and is just not widely known by the public. CNBC Digital has become the online destination for accurate and actionable information. With Hulu, they are an online video service that offers a selection of hit shows, clips and movies. And NBC.com is a leading online and mobile destination for television and interactive entertainment. Parks and resorts. As well as creating the films, they then can make them come to life through the rides they make at their own theme park, showing them that not only can they create the film for entertainment, they can then go to the next level and create rides to replicate and sum up the film in two minutes. These two minutes then bring in thousands of people from all over the world to come and experience it for themselves. This shows that how much power this company has by the fact that they can afford their own theme park about films they've already made to bring in more money from people who want to see just how they can make something you watch into something you can experience yourself. Universal Parks and Resorts features some of the world's most popular entertainment destinations. Each year, millions of people visit Universal's theme park to experience thrilling, world-famous attractions that combine interactive, groundbreaking rides and technology with the world's most recognisable characters in movies and pop culture. Universal has created such films as King Kong, Bruce Almighty, The Incredible Hulk, Shaun the Dead, Hot Fuzz, Kick-Ass, Ted and The Bourne Legacy. Out of these we chose to research The Bourne Legacy because it is the latest box office success. The Bourne Legacy is a 2012 American action thriller directed by Tony Gilroy and the film stars Jeremy Renner as the main character. The Bourne Legacy seems to have influenced the latest James Bond films, as, it's, as the Bourne's fast pace and close combat fight scenes have been seen to be copied in the Bond films, causing fights between which secret agent is better than the other. Because of this, the popularity of the Bourne Legacy films has clearly been shown due to the latest high-rating James Bond films using their ideas, overall showing that Bond is becoming a lot more like Bourne. The Bourne Legacy is directed by Tony Gilroy and produced by Frank Marshall and Patrick Crowley. Studios used is Relativity Media and the Kennedy slash Marshall Company. Universal Pictures originally intended the Bourne Ultimatum to be the final film in the series, but development of another film was underway by October 2008. George Nolfi, who co-wrote the Bourne Ultimatum, was to write the script for the fourth film, not to be based on any of the novels by Robert Ludlum. Joshua Zetima had been hired to write a parallel script, a draft which could be combined with another by August 2009. Matt Damon stated in November 2009 that no script had been approved and that he hoped the film would begin shooting in mid-2011. The next month, he said that he would not do another Bourne film without Paul Greengrass, who announced in late November that he had decided not to return as director. 
At its box office performance, The Bourne Legacy in its opening weekend grossed approximately $38.7 million in the United States and Canada and debuted at number one of the box office charts, suppressing Universal's expectation of $35 million. It grossed $46.6 million worldwide in its first weekend. The film sold approximately 400,000 more tickets in its opening weekend than the first film of the series, The Bourne Identity. The Bourne Legacy released many short clips and trailers, and in addition to the TV spots, they also have an international poster featuring Jeremy Rena as Aaron Cross on the run. They also had many billboards publicising the film. The soundtrack to The Bourne Legacy was composed by James Newton Howard and was released digitally on August 7, 2012 by Revisa Sarabandi. The Bourne Legacy was distributed by Universal Pictures and is coming to Blu-ray, Combo Pack, DVD and on demand December 11, 2012 from Universal Studios Home Entertainment and it was released on July 30, 2012. Following the very successful The Bourne Ultimatum, The Bourne Legacy had a big expectation from distributor Universal with a £125 million production cost, Legacy has the same budget as Total Recall.